Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in two days video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, I want to go through Tezos and I want to quickly cover Link. So we're going to go, we are going to go through three different cryptos inside of this video. I'm going to give you the absolute best range in the world right now on Bitcoin. This is the money making range that we are trading. It's amazing. I want to then go over Tezos or should I start with Tezos? Um... Now, let's start with Bitcoin, then I'll go on to Tezos. So, uh, yeah, the Bitcoin chart, really, really amazing range. OK, so we formed this range coming on four days ago. Now, obviously getting rejected from the monthly, we come down and we form this local range. And just look at the respect. Look at the respect, the lows to the midpoints to dropping down, actually then getting support resistance flip. When you come back into the channel, that's obviously then bullish. Midpoint, high of the channel, okay, back down to the low of the channel, midpoint, high of the channel, to the midpoint, actually then a back test of the high of the channel swing failure, again, that's that's bearish when you swing failure and come back in, you come back down to the low of the channel, okay, then last night you swing failure to the low, okay, and then it's bullish when you get back into the channel, you come, you actually then blast straight through the middle of the channel 9250, go straight up to the high of the channel, and this is when I was taking my last trade last night, so I was posting in the group, you know, I've taken a short off of, off of the high of the channel here, and you know, I'm not being invalidated, I'm going to stay in this. And then I was waking up this morning to writing take profit one hit, really, really nice. And that's obviously from the short of the high of the channel. Okay, staying in that, waking up to seeing take profit one hit. So still in the rest of that short position, but you know, this actually it's looking somewhat strong. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not so the way that I'm trading Bitcoin at the moment is really relaxed and I'm actually totally focused on altcoins. Like my, my whole focus is on altcoins because, you know, I could trade this range and I am, well, I am trading the range simultaneously as while I'm trading altcoins. But altcoins, you know, we're seeing, well, for instance, today, Tezos 10%, REC 10%, uh, LINK 7%, you know, and we're seeing Bitcoin 0.2%. So that's why my focus is, is on altcoins right now. But nevertheless, you know, there's still money to be made on this chart. So yeah, I've hit my take profit one. Still in the rest of that short position, but I'll cut it if we actually show some strength upon taking these highs. Okay, so this this literally is the money channel right there. This is the money channel right now. And you might think, oh, damn, you might have, you've just put this altcoin, you just put, just put this altcoin, just put this channel on. Uh, but, you know, this is what I was posting. You know, as this guy says, this channel has made me a lot of money. Absolutely. The channels are absolutely insane. And that is from last night when we were just coming, you know, swing failure in the low, coming back into that channel. And you can see from that low of the channel, we literally went straight through the midpoint all the way up to, to the highs. Okay, so that was here, swing forward that low, all the way up to the high of that channel. So we are just getting rotations to rotations of this channel. And again, this can fake some people out when you see that, you know, you might think, oh my God, it's going to break out. Um, you know, but this is the thing. This is why I was posting last night. You know, I'm still in the short. It's not being invalidated. And, uh, you know, this is this is still trading the range until it breaks. Okay, because so, we had not, you know, not actually broken out of the bigger range there. So, that's where we, you know, and, and then obviously I got paid for doing that because we come down and hit the middle of that channel, take profit overnight. So, you know, you got to trade the range until it breaks. And that is the range. I'm literally giving you this one because it is insane. OK, we've taken so many trades already off of this channel. It's literally a gold mine. Uh, so, yeah, hope that you can make use of this one uh, in your trading today. Um, and now I want to go on to the star of today's video, which is um, actually going to be Tezos. So Tezos, this is a this is a funny one. So I had a, a I had a comment from Martin. He's a year long subscriber. So shout out to Martin. Appreciate you, my friend, and all the support. Uh, but he was asking about how about doing Tezos, and I was like, you know, I trade Tezos every day. So I, I was going to do Tezos anyway. But um, <laughs> yeah, thank you for your for your comment and your support, and I'm more than happy to to do it as well. Uh, but yeah. I would have covered it anyway, to be honest with you, because this is an absolutely insane, insane, insane setup that I have right here. Oof, look at this one then. Look at this one. This was caught at the lows. We've, we've, we've literally just today, while I was sleeping, gone into my higher target. We've obviously gone through that higher target, which was for me the monthly. And we are now, you know, we're sitting in a bit of uh, no man's land, so to speak. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I want to talk you through the setup, well, you know, well, really how, we, how we're getting to the point where we're at now. It's just like the altcoins right now are insanely, insanely profitable. And I just cannot stress that enough. Uh, I guess I need to say not financial advice. This video is not financial advice on anything that I've talked about. And we'll talk about do your own research. I'm just a trader and uh, I'm just giving my opinions educationally for this and entertainment. So, I mean, well, firstly, this was an insane setup. We can already see it's already hit my target, which was a 30% move. Okay, so 30% from the entry to the to the stop loss. And again, you might be thinking, oh, Daniel, you're showing the, you know, you're showing people this now. Why didn't you show it? 
you know, uh, you know, why didn't you show me this setup when it was actually happening? Well, this is the thing. This is the setup that I gave to the contenders in the contenders live stream on Wednesday. Okay, so in Wednesday, this is the contenders live stream from the 8th of July. As you can see, we were looking at Tezos while it was out at the lows. Okay, this is how I identified the setups. You know, I've said it many times. I like to <laughs> my, my face there. Uh, <laughs> you can't actually see it because I'm in the way. I just realized. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is what we were talking about. Okay, you want to recognize the setups before they really even start to evolve. Okay, so I'm obviously looking at this off of the 618. It's getting an initial bounce off the 618. That for me is the sign of strength. Okay, so this is then me explaining on Wednesday in the contenders live stream, like the theory behind this trade, like why I was getting into this trade, where I, why I was entering here, why my stop loss is there, and why my target's there. So it's really a skill sharpener, this chart of the week. And again, chart of the week, because it is, for me, the best chart of that week. And as you can see, this is a little clip from the live stream. I know we were obviously looking for Tezos, the longs, you know, explaining the why I'm looking for take profits there, explaining where the invalidation is. So that was all that was all that good stuff over in, in Tezos in literally last week's contenders live stream. And if you want the zoomed in view of that, so you can see it a little bit better, you can see this is this was the setup. Okay, so we had the really defined entry, stop loss, invalidation where we're wrong, and that take profit of the monthly. As you can see, members take profit, all take profits hits, amazing, absolutely, it is a truly amazing setup, because as you can see from that, we have hit all take profits, that's the final one anyway for me, I've left a little bit of a moon bag on this one, because I just, I'm like, Pfft. I mean, why not, because the altcoins at the moment are insanely strong, so yeah, that, that, that's what you mean, but that's what we mean by sticking to the plan, sticking to the setup, you could have got, you could have got shaken out on this downturn, but Nevertheless, it's gone through all resistances and, and now we're back up, you know, above that monthly. So I got to be looking at Tezos now in, in terms of, oof, you know, it's nice. It's, it is nice, isn't it? So you got to be thinking to yourself now, we bounced off that lower, we bounced off that lower 618. Okay, so that 618 is where we bounced. And that was obviously by, by the, from the low to the high, to, oh no, from the low to the high to the 618. So now you can be looking at the reverse and you are at the 618 at the moment. Okay, so you are, oh, you're actually just through it. So by now I was making this video, you were actually at it. So now you are bouncing through on it just a little bit. Okay, so yeah, yeah, to be honest, this this oh, this is why I'm thinking to myself, like the altcoins are ultra strong. It's just it's just tearing through resistances right now. So the way that I trade Tezos is actually really similar to the way that I trade Link. And this is trading my stops. Okay, so I'm just thinking to myself, you know, why sell? Um, you know, why well Link is obviously at an all-time high. So Link is all-time high. So I'm not thinking, I'm 100 percent not shorting Link. I'm a, you know, I'm just not even thinking about shorting Link. So this has, I've just been buying more and buying more and buying more and buying more link. And that's because it's a, you know, in a blue sky breakout. This thing is insanely profitable, insanely profitable. From that daily break, we have seen a 70% to rise to the upside. It's just incredibly strong link number one altcoin. And I've been, I have been talking about this one quite a lot recently. But yeah, so link, I'm just trading stops. But with the way that I trade Tezos is the reason why I've, I took, you know, profits out this monthly and only left the moon bag is for me, this is, not, you know, it's obviously different than link. It is not at an all time high. Well, absolutely, it could, it could reach the all time highs again shortly. And who knows? But, you know, nevertheless, I guess I'd have to look at this in terms of a compounded trade. Uh, if we can come and, <clears throat> excuse me, if we can come and like back test some of these lower monthly levels. But the thing is, like, you know, already made 30% on this one. I'm very much content, very much content with this, how this setup has played out. Um, but yeah, I feel, I do believe that it's probably due a pullback. I mean, we are now 30% in a few days. Um, it is not at all-time highs like Link is. So there is that sort of, um, you know, it's not as strong as Link if we have to compare the two directly. But, um, you know, I do believe that you are... Well, I was I was thinking the 618 where you probably pull back again. I'm definitely not shorted this one. But, uh, you know, I was thinking that 618. If I'm honest with you, I thought, you know, we might get a pullback here. But as you can see, the strength is in, in, insanely strong. And we actually went through that 618. So, wow. That is, this this coin's even surprising me. It's just, oof, just really, really amazing. And all the altcoins are like this at the moment. Like, I've said it before, you know, put, put a pintail on, take take those altcoins. I mean, they're, they're just insane. Absolutely insanely profitable. Uh, so, yeah, Tezos, I mean, I suppose what I'm going to have to do to myself or say to myself now is oh, well, I'd, I'd like that monthly back test. If we don't get that monthly back test, uh, then I'm, the way that I would look at this is you'd have to zoom down onto much lower term time frame, something like the five minute and try and get yourself an entry off of here. Obviously, it's hard to, you know, you can't really get an entry while it's moved up like this. 
I would personally wait for a bit of a pullback. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of a moon bag left. It's nothing to be really shout out about. But nevertheless, uh, well, you can see here, actually, look at that. So the monthly resistance, and this I, I should have been more aware of this, let's be honest. But resistance of the monthly, that was me taking profits. <laughs> Literally, you could see how we control that market to the absolute sat there taking profits while asleep, by the way. So while asleep, taking profits on that one. And you can see, look how amazing that is, by the way. The reaction while asleep from my take profit order. And then, well, I guess mine and probably my team's as well. And then you see the reaction off of that. Look at that. An insane wick to the downside. Let me just hide that so you can actually see that. Insane wick to the downside off of that. Okay. And then we obviously continue on. And then you get above that. You now hold it as support, support, support. And you start to move on again. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, the levels are amazing. Like that, that, I just have to say that's so hard. Like the levels that I do are just insane. Like insane. You can make insane amount of money off of these like oof, it is really it is re literally amazing but yeah now tesos is still continuing to run unfortunately i missed that monthly retest i was sleeping on that one wow that's a bad one nevertheless i uh, still kept with a little bit of a moon bag but oof, i would have liked to have actually compounded on that that's a slap on the wrist for me for missing that compound but nevertheless you know what i'd like i suppose <laughs> If, if if the crypto gods would be so kind, is a, is a pullback on, on Tezos. I'd like to compound and, and add to my position. But if that doesn't happen, well, it doesn't happen, you know. Uh, so, you know, I'm still in Link. And as I was saying yesterday, still fully invested in this one. So I have to, uh, you know, give that. I am invested in Link heavily. <clears throat> but again, not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. But, you know, I'm loving Link right now. 70% um, since, since that daily break. It's just insanely strong. Same with Tezos. Insanely strong. I mean, literally catching it at the low. And this is the thing. When I'm when I'm buying this at the lows, who who else is buying down there? Okay. So when I'm when, when you know when I'm posting this, like who else is buying down here on Tezos? This is this is it during peak depression. This is peak depression on on Tezos while I'm buying here. I'm buying while everybody else is scared to buy. I am going against the market, and we are seeing those profits. Like, yeah, it's insane. It really, really is. But you know, that's how you got to trade. Everybody's now looking at Tezos. You know, everybody's looking at Tezos. Guess what? You know, well, I have been selling here, but nevertheless, it has gone through my sell order so i can't really say too much about it you know but nevertheless you know it was a good trade really do think that was a good trade um you know so that that's my opinion on the markets right now yeah so i'm much more focused on altcoins much 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 more focused on altcoins like yeah the, the money that i'm making on this is, is is just insane uh yeah bitcoin i think is, a, is an okay trading range i'm in that short at the moment uh hit take profit one off the middle of the channel but nothing to really shout home about on this one you know the moves are pretty small i mean the moves are small but they are contained and you know we're still making off of each rotation you know thousands of dollars so it's, it's obviously pretty nice but nevertheless it's just so much slower you know and for me as a guy that really likes likes the action right now i'm just i don't know i'm just loving altcoins i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so i guess if you want these sort of updates i done last night a champions live stream where i probably went through about 10 different setups and you know on some of these setups i've given literally given the entry to stop loss and to, and to take profit so if you want those sort of people love the setup so if you want those sort of real time well, i suppose primarily the champions live stream last night so you can see my thought process as i'm taking those trades so you can really see what i'm looking for the altcoins that i'm personally very interested in we got a we got a setup which i believe is going for 100 percent gains um you know just yeah it's insane some of the setups but yeah uh, I guess I'm going to end with that. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really hope that it's helped you. Uh, I'm still interested, you know, still, still fully loving the alts and Bitcoin. Let's see if we get a breakout or so if we can come back down to the low of this channel once more. If we break out the high of the channel, well, then we expect a breakout. Obviously, with Bitcoin volatility is likely going to mean the altcoins pull back. So just remember that, everybody. Um, and yeah, happy trading. Hope that you love it. You want those updates, then come across. If not, then just I appreciate a like on this video. Thank you once again, everybody. Hope that you have enjoyed. And let's go and trade these altcoins, crush the altcoin charts, crush the Bitcoin charts. And goodbye, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>